Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discuss about the system design roadmap, the complete roadmap that you should follow to learn system design. So basically, if you are software developer one and you want to become senior developer, or you are giving interviews for senior role or SD two role, then this system design is very very important, and you should know everything about uh, the system design interview uh, in prior. And one interesting thing while making this video, I realized I had lot of content to share. So I'll be putting this uh, in part one and. part 2 and i'm uploading part 1 as of now so please don't forget to watch part 2 of this system design road map as well so i will be covering these points uh, for the discussion introduction and then uh, why do we really need system design i mean we have os interviews we have dbms coding interview but why really we need system design interviews and then what are the standard questions that are asked and what are the concepts and the prereqs to ho sakta hai ki aapne distributed system college mein na padha ho ya aapko na ho knowledge ya ho bhi knowledge aapko developer experience se ho knowledge but still you should revise some concepts there are some prereqs that i will share with you that you should definitely revise um, before going on for the system design interview then i'll share all the resources and the links some free resources some paid resources that you should follow and what i followed for my system design interview and then the most important thing is how do approach this interview so there is no good design there is no bad design but what is the procedure what is the steps that you should follow to target and approach this interview so i will share a brief about it so if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe subscribe this channel for more interesting videos and uh, all the topics that i'm going to share in future so don't miss out on them so let's proceed further so why do we really need system design so there is a front end there is a back end uh, then there is database so everything is there but what is special about system design so think of amazon or flipkart so if we have a single system say if if i have a system of 16 gb ram maybe 252 gb hard disk so will it be possible to uh, serve lot of requests that are coming if i might handle but there might be some latency i might not be available for some time so you know this is not a good design this is not a good system i will say so now when the technology is moving faster the world is moving faster and there are a lot of applications that have come in online shopping have come in you need to think around that how how they might have designed you know so it's not just one system can fit in now the problem comes further like how do we distribute the system so the concept is how do we design such systems like if we say amazon it it is not possible to build amazon on one system right it has to be distributed then there are lot of concepts like so how do i uh, distribute the systems and make it available make it consistent how do i scale how many systems should i use how do they interact with each other so why this interview is very very important that when you are interviewed for a senior role they they judge everything that uh, will you be able to take up a project and design in an efficient way and how much you know all the trade offs you will consider and how you'll you balance it so let's see first most of the common standard problems that are there so So I will say that if you do these standard problems, then you know half of it. Like you know more than half, rather I can say, because in the interview it will be mostly related to this problem. So they can ask you about Twitter, Twitter feed. They can ask you then Facebook news feed. Then how do we design WhatsApp? How do we design WhatsApp chat or a group chat? And how do we design Uber? How do we design proximity in Uber? Like let's see more problems. Then book my show, Facebook Messenger, Twitter feed, search in the Instagram. You should understand. understand the concepts first that i'll be discussing now so you should at least do one problem in one category so that should be enough like if you do facebook chat whatsapp chat instagram chat all these will be same anyhow so if you do some streaming problem like netflix amazon prime all these will be in the same category and they'll be designed mostly similar so now Let's talk about the concepts that are prereqs that I was talking about. You know, you have to target these uh, problems, and you should understand the basic concepts. And if you understand the basic concepts, it will be very easy for you to apply it to a system design. And if there are a lot of cross questions, also you'll be able to come up with something new. So even if you know this concept, I'll suggest you that you should go and read these concepts. You should go and understand these concepts much better in a much better way. And I'll provide you all the links. So there is a system designer primer link in. 
the description that you should follow or maybe the interview bit uh, basics the, there are prereq links that are given in the interview bit as well so first will be the scalability you should know about your system is horizontally scalable or vertically scalable then what happens if we increase the number of users like i told the example we have one system we might be able to serve some 10 100 requests but what if the user increases what if the number of request increases then what happens the traffic increases and how do we really scale the system so you should understand this concept then the next is replication replication is how uh, how our system will respond in the case of failures how do we replicate our data how do we save our data what type of replication we use we do chain replication or what type of replication you use so you should understand this then there's a cap theorem this is very very important theorem and it is mostly asked in all the interviews not directly obviously so you will have to apply this concept directly indirectly at certain point of time uh, at least so cap theorem is uh, consistency availability and partition tolerance so cap theorem says that only two of these will hold true so we need to understand that we are making a highly available system or partition tolerant system together it can be less consistent or you should understand how this cap theorem will apply on the design so are we making a highly consistent system or highly available system so you should uh, uh, understand this and how we make trade off while designing the system now let's talk about consistency so we need to understand that our system is weak consistent or strongly consistent or there is eventual consistency that is the base property of the distributed system you should learn that and then what type of system a highly consistent system like i can give you an example banking system so or reservation system airline reservation or anything so they should be highly consistent there is no no scope of them not being consistent otherwise there will be lot of discrepancy so we can compromise with the availability but here we cannot compromise with the consistency so what type of system should be highly consistent system similarly you should understand that what type of system should be highly available system like facebook may be or video streamings you know they should be available it should not be a drop when you are viewing facebook but it is okay to see a comment a few minutes later a few seconds later it is okay to see a comment on a picture few seconds later but it should be highly available system so what are the trade offs you do if your system is not completely available and and how do you do read writes when the node goes down so what what is the strategy you take or you make it a hybrid so now there is a concept called partition tolerance so the network is divided into lot of partitions and we need to understand that how the failures will work and if there are partitions then how the interaction between the partitions will work so you need to understand this concept then next is microservices now a lot of architecture design is moving to microservices so you need to understand that what all services you will choose to break and what you will choose to keep as macro service only and if the services are divided into micro service then how these services interact with each other next is cdn cdn is content delivery network so you should understand how do we use cdn and where it is useful so what type of system will use cdn and what is the advantage of using C- uh, cdn so it will make the system highly available or it will provide a system with low bandwidth what advantages are there for example i give you netflix so in netflix if you use cdn so obviously the streaming will be faster because the data will be picked from proximity so you need to understand in what type of system using cdn is beneficial now next is load balancer and reverse proxy you need to understand what are the different type of load balancers and what is difference between load balancer and reverse proxy and where you will use what next is databases this is very very important because you need to understand the sql and the no sql and you need to understand the differences between these which one you will use in certain type of system and why you will use you should also so see some real life examples of sql and no sql and then there is caching caching is like very very important uh, how you will you implement caching and what is the eviction strategy you will use you will use lru or lfu or fifo or what type of uh, eviction strategy you will use for caching and what is the trade off that how much how big cache you can keep or how smaller the cache you can keep or how much data you should keep in the cache all these factors are very very important and if you have some real life knowledge of real life caches like redis and memcache and aid so you should understand the basics of these redis and memcache that how they are keeping um, they they keeping the data so that should be enough then the message queue so where you use message queue and similarly real life example of message queue also rabbit mq kafka will be helpful so in the part 2 of this video don't forget to watch it i will discuss in brief about all the links and resources that you will have to use for the system design i just discuss about the concept you should know and now in the next video part 2 that i'll be uploading soon we'll discuss about the link
things and the resources you should use so don't forget to watch that video too i'll also discuss about how to approach a system design interview so thank you for now and if you have any questions please post so that i can add it to my next video and please stay connected don't forget to subscribe the channel so that whenever i upload next video you get notification